The star topology is by far the most common topology that is used today. In this setup, all computers are connected to a central wiring point, such as a hub or a switch. Data passes through this central point before continuing to its destination. One of the major benefits of this topology is that if one computer failed or if there was a break in a cable, the other computers will not be affected because each computer has their own cable connection. However, a disadvantage of the star topology is that if the central hub or switch fails, then all the computers on that central point would be affected. This is called a single point of failure. If this happens, the entire network goes down. This is called the bus topology. The bus topology is pretty old technology and it is not used today that much. This is the kind of network setup where each of the computers and network devices are connected to a single cable or backbone. This backbone is a coaxial cable. The computers connect to this cable using special connectors called B and C or also known as T connectors. One of the advantages of the bus topology is that it is fairly cheap and easy to implement. The disadvantage would be is that it requires that the cable be terminated at both ends using terminators. In order for this setup to remain operational, there must not be any open connections, including the ends that attach to the computers. If a computer is removed or added, or if the terminators are loose or missing, then the cable will be open and data would bounce back. This is known as signal reflection. If this happens, data flow would be disrupted. This is called the ring topology. A ring topology is a type of network configuration where each computer is connected to each other in the shape of a closed loop or ring. So every computer on this network has exactly two neighbors for communication purposes. Each data packet is sent around the ring until it reaches its final destination. This kind of topology is rarely used today. The advantage of a ring topology is that they are easy to install and easy to troubleshoot. However, the disadvantage would be that if just one of these computers goes down, or if there was a single break in the cable, then all data flow would be disrupted. 802.3 is Ethernet. Now Ethernet is by far the most common technology that is used today. In fact, Ethernet is the technology that is used on the Internet. Ethernet uses an access method called CSMACD, which stands for Carrier Sense Multiple Access with Collision Detection. We'll go into more detail about this later on. The speed of Ethernet ranges from 10 megabits to 10,000 megabits. It uses both copper wire and fiber optic media. Most commonly, Ethernet uses the STAR topology. Token Ring is the 802.5 standard. Token Ring was a technology that was developed by IBM in the early 1980s. This technology became pretty popular because it virtually eliminated all collisions by its unique token passing access method. This is how it works. Computers on a token ring are arranged in a physical star topology in a logical ring. In the center you have a special hub called a multiple station access unit. In this hub, there is an electronic signal that is constantly circulating around the ring. This token must be attached to every message on the network if the computers want to communicate with each other. Let's go ahead and demonstrate this. The first computer will go ahead and send its data. The token then will come around and attach itself to that message. And then it takes it to the appropriate destination. So you can clearly see why this eliminates all collisions and why it became so popular. The RJ45 is the most common network connector. This is an 8-wire connector used to connect computers to local area networks. Like the RJ11, 
it also locks itself into place by a hinged locking tab and it also resembles the RJ11 but it's larger. This connector is called the F-type. The F-type is a threaded connector typically used on coaxial cables. These are used primarily by cable providers to attach to cable modems and a hand tightens by an attached nut. This is the USB connector. The USB is very common on desktops and laptops. Many manufacturers make wireless network cards that plug into a USB port. The USB has two different connector types, type A and type B. The ST or straight tip is also a fiber optic connector. This uses a half twist bayonet type of lock. The ST connector is commonly used with single mode fiber optic cable. This is the IEEE 1394 connector, commonly known as Firewire. Firewire is commonly recognized by its D shape. This type of connection is becoming more popular on desktops and laptops and is commonly associated with attaching peripheral devices such as digital cameras and printers rather than being used as a network connection. These are also found on many types of video and multimedia devices. This is the coaxial cable. This is used today primarily by cable providers to provide computers with broadband internet connection. Early on it was used as the backbone for networks, such as a bus network. Unshielded twister pair is the most common type of cable that is used today. It consists of four pairs of unshielded wires twisted around each other. The wires are twisted to prevent electromagnetic interference or crosstalk. This type of cabling is mainly used on local area networks. Shielded twisted pair is very similar to unshielded twisted pair, except that it has a foil shield that covers the wires. This shielding adds a layer of protection against electromagnetic interference leaking into or out of the cable. A hub is a device that has multiple ports that accepts Ethernet connections from network devices. A hub is not considered to be intelligent because it does not filter any data or has any intelligence as to where data is supposed to be sent. When a data packet arrives at one of the ports, it is copied to all other ports, so all the devices on that hub sees the data packet. There are two different types of hubs, passive and active. A passive hub does not require any power, but an active hub does require power.